Uh, what do we got next, Mr. Royal? Next up, we got Scene Stillers. And that goes to the best artist out there, whether that be male, female, animal, spirit, does not matter. For me... Oh, uh, quick recap before oh, we get into this. Oh, no, I thought we were doing it. I'm a scene stiller. That's why I said for me. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, throw me up there real quick. They know what time it is. All right, show them. All right. But uh, let's give the official TTFT recap. Who do we got, D? Oh, God. Uh, this is getting harder every week. Morgan Freeman's I keep up saying there? to write this down. <laughs> uh, that, that would be George Burns. Ooh, oh, God. Yeah. Um, book two. Episode one is... Uh, <laughs> Episode one is Black Panther, and we have uh, Okoye. There you go. Episode two, we did Tenet, and that was Robert Pattinson. That is correct. Episode three, we did The Living Wake, and that was, of course... Ryan O'Connell. <laughs> Mike O'Connell? No, Ryan. Okay. All right, Mike, I got you. <laughs> Number four was Rounders, where uh, Matt Damon made the board. Mike McD. Number no, Joho. five is uh, Paid in Full. And uh, Woods would. Harris. I wanted the whole time. Number six was Us. And, of course, Lapita is up there. And number seven, here we are, V for Vendetta. Who do we got? Do you have any honorable mentions? Or are you just launching right into who you're throwing out there? Because I've got... I got three honorable mentions. I'll let you do the honorable mention. I'm just going to go right out there. Okay. So, of course, my two honorable mentions uh, go to Natalie Portman and um, uh, Hugo Weaving. Of course. Of course. Um, Hugo Weaving really deserves two honorable mentions right, because he did voice. a fantastic physical yeah. and voice. Right. Um, Natalie Portman's range from going from this this scared... Uh, modest, just reserved girl that mm -hmm. you could see a glimmer of something more in her, or a little rebellion into who she is at the end of the movie, that emotional journey that that was amazing. But those are just two obvious of choices right. to, to throw out there. Um, S Stephen Fry as, uh, as Diedrich, he was... Mm. He was a great character to watch. He, he, the way he performed it was amazing. Uh, finding out he's a rebel with the basement of illegal artifacts. Mm. He's a closeted homosexual, kind of like he keeps all of like all of his secrets kind of down there. He wanted her to know, too. She was there all of seven minutes. You may want to know why I invited you over. I mean, you trust why. me, I might as well trust you. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, and then that, that scene where he, they, you know, he, he's parodying the Chancellor with the, the Benny Hill-style sketch. Um and and his like that that scene was so creepy to me because he went into like the way he acted about like how how what the response should be to what he did on his show is like how we are nonchalant about the way we can talk about our government and people in power now like we could say right now F Donald Trump he's a f f him he's a he's a loser he's a Head. We could say all these things with no fear, and that's the place that he was in. Just kind of like naive to he played that so perfectly. How he was just naive to the fact that like, what are they gonna do? Fire me? Find me? You're like, my we're, agent. We're too big. Yeah. Our show is huge. The ratings. And yeah. then that night, right on the head and black bagged, and that that was not so funny now, funny man. And I've only known Stephen Fry as a, as a comedian, like uh, bits of Fry and Laurie. And Isn't he not in uh, Sherlock Holmes? I think so. He plays I, his brother. Okay. Surely. <laughs> Surely, Shirley. Uh, but but it, it was just crazy to see him in that scene where he expressed that emotion. So I will, uh, but that those are my honorable mentions. Okay. Well, I'm glad. Uh, I, I, listen, the, let's just go ahead and say for what it is. The acting in this movie is very pristine. There's a lot of people that are on point. Uh, there are some clear court, cl there's some clear cut choices. Um, there's some people that definitely stand out on the back end, but for me, I don't know if I'm going to surprise you with it, but for me, it was Natalie Portman. It was, she, she, she did it for me, man. Um, and a movie with so much intrigue, so much political satire, so much meaning, so much everything, 
usually it's always we say, hey, uh, they don't give this person enough time. Like we talked about with Edward Norton and Rounders and other films we talked about. They just didn't have enough to be. They weren't given that opportunity. Mm -hmm. But I think in spite of, she, of course, she was given the opportunity, but it was so much. The heavy was so much in the room. And to me, man, like you said, that transformation. The, this time, I can't just say range. I'm talking about like it was... It was to me an ever evolving character, like having to spiral, having to go from. You see, to me, they. I'm, I'm going to say why because I told you earlier. They when they talked about her parents, like her parents were in that, and they say, well, what happened to her? She went to reforms, got for five years. So it's some type of rebel in her, and then she mm -hmm. the first uh, the first sign of defiance out at the curfew. Boom. Next sign of defiance. I don't know. Mace. It's Mason the guy. At each point, we see defiance, and then she comes out, and she and and then he was like, she was like, I gotta go. I gotta. He's like, he's like, why is that what they want you to feel? Is this that? that? Like she truly made me feel mm -hmm. like even the water hitting her head, like she was rebapped. Oh, like, God, Nick. That, that moment when she came out of the, when all the way up to the point where she said, uh, thank you, but I'd rather die behind the chemical, chemical, shit. chemical like, shit, yes. And then she comes out and finds out that it was V that did that to right. her and that emotional breakdown. She broke down. She, like, she, she really broke down. And then you see her transform in one shot in where, where he's like, remember how you felt in there. Right, he's like, this is the most important now. moment of your life. Now, don't do this. And, and then she and like, dude, to play that scene to me, I'm like, God, Lee, man, like, I'm not. I mean, and that's the thing about it. See, and like what we always talk about with artists, well, we don't want to see the actor or the actress make me feel like you're that person. She does that within her own self because remember she says it. She was like when after her hair got cut and everything, she was always just a little bit scared up until when she was in the the market and one of her friends handed her something and didn't even know it was her. Mm -hmm. That wasn't just because of the physical. That's because mentally the she eyes. was complete eyes. Every she was her eyes were open. Yeah. For the first time, you're finally free. So, man, it's for me, Miss Natalie Portman. I'm I'm pulling for you because listen, um, I to me this is your best acting performance ever, in my opinion. And um, I in a, in a film like this where there's so much macho, so much bullets flying, and then you're not playing the damsel in distress, like mm -hmm. you actually played the character. And I was just like, man, even with all these stars on screen, with everything, I, you V is my ultimate hero. Like he's up there with me. But damn it. This yeah, girl she, here is like the... She made the character very three-dimensional. Like, that could have easily been a Linda Hamilton, Terminator 2 type of oh, character yeah. played by a different person. Yes, so so that's that's for me. Um, I'm, I'm tossing you up right there, Miss Miss Natalie Portman. Yeah, that's going to yes. be hard for me to fight because I love Natalie Portman, especially with a buzzed head. Especially <laughs> fighting the fascist government. <laughs> oh, man. Um, but my uh, my I, I had to give it to... Uh, Stephen Ray as Eric Finch, the mm. detective, because his char his character was so interesting. It was so nuanced, and he he played it so perfectly. Like he is this true man of the law, like to a fault. And when he when when his eyes begin to open to the fact that the government that he works for might be breaking the law. That draws a really interesting line for him, and watching that conflict play out internally, uh, and the way he, the way he portrayed it externally, very subtly was, um, I just thought it was a masterclass, and so it, he made that character so enjoyable to watch. Where, like, all the way up to the end, where he lets, uh, where he lets V or Evie send the train. Like that that's the was, climax. That's the climax. That and he that, pulls that the gun down. Final straw for steps him. Steps back, like, and then well, like he wants to understand. He's trying to understand. And what what's the one character you? Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can do a call. What's the one character he would that character he played? He not in the film that he reminds you of. Like that's such a man of the law. For me, it's uh, from Hitman, the cop from Hitman that was chasing him all around. He was such a man of the law, mm -hmm. trying to figure out this, trying to what does Interpol want with him? Oh, where is he? Like is he, he wants to know it's on him. I mean, not he didn't do as good as a job as Fry. Like yeah. I say, I, I really, I'm glad you mentioned him as an all my bitch. And to be honest with you, no, I that's could, not my, that's not no, no, my, no, that's, that's, that's no, no, I'm saying no, no, I'm just saying, so, no, I said, I should have had him at all, but I can't say that you're wrong. Like, I don't think there's a wrong appeal. Like, he did have, have such a, a good, like, even for, like, his character grew from, even when he started realizing, he started sweeping his own office for, like, wires, and he asked mm -hmm. another dude, like, I gotta ask you something. Yeah. Like, I like, it was, it but was I, crazy, man. With, how does Zodiac yeah, feel to him? Like, he was chasing the Zodiac or something yeah. like that, man. Yeah, and he, he had the, uh, it's just a detective hunch that they're going to, that they're using the train. Mm, yeah. Like, he. He was the one that said that. He was like, yeah. you have anything to bet us up? No. He was tired of it. No. Mm -hmm. All right. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but I think he got it from that book. 
I mean, no, he couldn't have got it from that book. Remember, he was like, "Oh yeah, the journal probably changed them." What's, right, a, what's right. your name's journal? Reading oh, yeah. the atrocities. That he was like, be. "They're party members and people like you, you." You, matter of fact, now that you told me you're the only one that's seen it, how do we even know it's real? Like they immediately mm-hmm. start just covering up, cover up, cover. Oh yeah, cover girl. Um, as I mean, yeah, Stephen Ray was great, but I think Natalie Portman Portman definitely deserves to go on the board, mm-hmm. uh, because she had more to carry. Yeah. Yeah, so. definitely. I mean, and plus, the, we almost gave it to you, Stephen. But when you lost it, when you kicked that trash can, when you got fooled <laughs> out by V, when you found out it, wait, wait a minute, he, he's been gone for twenty years. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <Jesus, I can't. laughs> you were that close, that close, man. But no, yes, Miss Natalie Portman, welcome to the board. Congratulations, Miss Portman. All right, so Natalie Portman is on the board. Uh, let us know in the comments uh, who was your favorite actor in the movie or actress. Uh, do you agree with our picks? If not, let us know. If you do, let us know. Hey. If you just have a random thought about anything else, let us know in the comments. Whatever. That's the trailer.